Now it is time to see what you can do with the Open Toolkit. Part 3 of this webinar shows sample output created with the Open Toolkit. Some of these examples use the Open Toolkit's out-of-the-box style sheet, while for the other you need customization. This will clearly be mentioned in the slides. This example is the sample web demo of the Open Toolkit. On the left hand side we have the navigation from the data map. A link to the parent topic is added at the bottom. This link comes from the hierarchy in the data map. A related link to another topic is shown here. This link could come from the topic itself or the data map. This example is very similar to the previous one. It uses the HTML help demo output build of the Open Toolkit to create a Windows CHM or CHUM file. Note that this is the same hierarchy but now the nodes can be expanded or collapsed. This is a feature of the HTML help viewer. The viewer also provides an index and search tabs. The index only works if index terms were marked up in the data content. The Eclipse help is similar to HTML help. The Open Toolkit creates an Eclipse plugin that you can add to the Eclipse help system. A breadcrumb is created from the hierarchy in the data map. This is an example of PDF output. It uses the data book map. It has a mini table of content as an advanced organizer for the reader. This example shows a more advanced output for the web with CSS and JavaScript integration. It includes a dynamic table of contents where nodes can be expanded and collapsed. This is an example of a customization of PDF output of the Open Toolkit for a datasheet. It has a two column first page. The following pages have a single column. A few other features of the customization are fixed figure and table positioning on the first page, auto numbering of headings, automatic table resizing.